Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Thursday, March 7th, 2024. This is my pre-market report now. I know what you're doing. I know what you are doing, and you're very smart to be doing that. I'm specifically talking about the 10-year yield. It continues to drop like a rock. What does this mean for anyone new here? There's a lot of debt buying. This mechanism, as you are well aware of, opens up a doorway for cash to make its way into the stock market. What does this appear to me? Okay, there is a massive effort going on right now. And we know who's doing this. All right, look, this is no secret. There is a massive effort right now to keep the stock market from dropping from correcting or anything like that the illusion of the market people i can't stress this enough i've told you a million freaking times here the illusion of the market is an extremely powerful thing and as i've been explaining as we have discussed you and i over and over and over and over again they're going to maintain this through the presidential selection cycle. Look how this is playing out here, okay? Is it a surprise to you or anyone that follows this blog that now we are down to the current creature sitting behind the Resolute Desk and the prior creature who sat behind the Resolute Desk? Now we have a head-to-head -head rematch here. This is a setup on a grand scale. Pandemonium is going to break out this election, mock my, or should I say selection, because there's not going to be an election. The American people and the people of the world for the most part are pawns in a game. Pawns in a game that is so deep, so hideous in, in, my, in my view here. The deceptions, the distractions, the look here's, the don't look there. Um, what do they want to do? You know what they want to do here. The goal is very, very simple. Um, it's all about control. All right, let's just establish that. I think you already know that if you follow this blog. And they, they have things in store for us. It's not going to happen this year, though. Again, this year, I would expect things to go relatively smoothly until the selection takes place. Once the selection takes place... I believe the selection is going to be a game changer on a massive scale. What they're hoping to achieve here is uh, an uprising. They want people, again, to make the last, you know, uh, uprising, whatever you want to call it, where people were trying to, you know, voice what they believed what was going on during the last selection here. They want that amplified by 10 so they can exert control on the people. Look, they always do, the, it's the same game. They give people enough rope to hang themselves. And that's what's happening here with regard to what the Federal Reserve is doing, uh, our so-called representatives are doing here. They are, they are hoping to bring society to a boiling point and then, of course, use the military to squash it, um, to uh, take away rights and freedoms. You all know this here, okay? That is what's actually going on. Um, the way this appears to be going is very evident to me, as we have discussed. You've got multi-billionaire investors, senators, uh, CEOs of corporations pulling their cash out of this market in droves. And you know what this is all about. I told you. This presidential selection cycle, <laughs> so far, and that's as it looks to me, they have... They're going to reselect the current creature sitting behind the Resolute Desk. And this is, again, a mechanism to start an uprising here. And if you don't believe that the current people running for president don't understand what's going on, they've been well aware. If you and I realize this, everything that's going on, you think they don't know either, really? You think that they're completely blind to this? No, they all know. As I said, the insiders already know. The CEOs of the corporations don't know. The multi-billionaires already know. What did Greg Manorino tell you? Greg Manorino to told you that, look, the market wants Donald Trump, period. That's a fact. The market generally gets what it wants to, 
what it wants. But this scenario, we have to consider some outlying things. We have a mechanism of war that is and, and rapidly expanding war that is being utilized to uh, liquefy the system. In other words, we're running out of cash. You all know that we are running out of cash. The system is rapidly drying up. This mechanism uh, is allowing the Federal Reserve in this case to achieve its goal more so than ever before. And they're solidifying their position. Again, look, I know how much you people, a lot of you out here love Donald Trump, but he, the current things sitting behind the Resolute Desk, and obviously Obama here, have done more to empower the Federal Reserve than any three presidents ever in history combined to empower the Federal Reserve, okay? Um, and that's what's really going on here. They know what's going on. They know what's happening here. They understand the mechanism. This is a long game. It's been going on for over a century. Central banks run it all, okay? Okay. Uh, you know, many of you are here grossly uh, overestimate what a president can do. And this is all going to change, right? It really changed a lot during President Trump's tenure, right? Everything changed, didn't it? Yeah, he made the Federal Reserve a hell of a lot stronger. Went out of his way to do that. Went out of his way to make, make the 1% and 2 percenters more richer than they've ever been before. Remember rah, rah, rah stock market, which you call the big, fat, ugly bubble, before he was president, but then it all changed. Imagine my shock. Imagine your shock calling for a weaker dollar, calling for negative rates, meaning you would have to pay the banks to keep your cash in there. You can't make this stuff up. But people, again, looking for uh, some kind of a, a savior deity, and they think this is him, it ain't him. Okay, it ain't nobody. We're out. We, we, we have each other's backs. That's it. We have no representation. It ain't going to change. But anyway, this, this situation is what it is. And... um. What you and I have been doing is evaluating what's happening here uh, and understanding what's going on here. This is not going to... Do you believe... Let's just put it, put this out here. Let's say whoever is sitting behind the Resolute Desk, do you think that global debt is going to miraculously stop inflating? We have not never seen anything like this in the history of the world where global debt is skyrocketing at its fastest pace. Do you think that's going to change um, again with the new selected uh, president here? You think it's going to really change? No, uh, it's not going to change. In fact, it's going to get a lot worse. There's just no doubt about it because no individual wants this to come down on their watch. You understand? Um, and the only way to keep this propped up is to allow central banks to continue what they're doing. All right? Eventually, this entire thing is going gonna, is gonna to get very real. Um, and we'll see how that plays out. But um, we don't have anyone with the, gut, with the guts, enough guts to tell us what's really going on. Again, it's going to be a tax on this person, a tax on that person, and whatever. All kinds of nonsensical things to keep people where they are. That is, in the box thinking, uh, trapped, and slaves to the current system. You and I are different. We're able to put this together in a way that's allowing us to see through all the nonsense. And that's what matters to me. Okay, each other, we got each other's backs. We're making this work. Um, and we're, we're prepared for a worst-case scenario. You always have to think about things in a worst-case scenario, how they could unfold. And right now, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare on an incredible scale. Uh, global debt, the number one greatest threat to humankind is global debt. It's not nuclear war. It's not anything else. It's not disease. It's this debt bubble. This debt bubble is going to burst by design. It's going to bring the world economy it's already on its knees, but I'm talking about even a lot worse. The people of the world are going to beg for a new system, and the central banks, of course, are going to have a new system for them, a system of maximum control. And again, they want, they want an uprising. They need people to rise up against the so-called establishment so they can squash them, so they can take away more of their rights and freedoms, and people are going to fall right into it. They're going to fall right into, into it because they're being set up. They're being set up on a grand scale. It's unfortunate because people can't see what's going on here. There's, there's another way. There is another way. The other way is to take down 
these institutions. The central banks of the world are, they're the only enemy. We're not each other's enemy. Okay, they're trying to convince us that we're each other's enemy because of whatever political affiliation you might have, what, what, what your skin color might be, what, what religion you might follow, whatever it is. They, they're going to throw your, your, the old versus the young. Whatever it is, they got to divide you. And that's how they control you. You understand? And that's what they're doing now. It's a setup on an incredible scale. And I think most of you can probably see that. At least I hope you do. Anyway, looking at this market this morning, stock futures are higher a little bit. 10-year yield, I mean, who's buying all this debt? 4.09 on the 10-year yield was four, over 4.3 just a week ago. It's insane. Uh, dollar right now, not doing much. Actually, actually, nothing is doing much right now. Bitcoin is trying to make another run at a record high. I already told you how this is house playing out uh with regard to that i covered it yesterday check out my video there i don't want to go over it again i'll be honest with you but again as i always tell you let them play their games we are in control we're in control of our own futures here um those of you that are surrendering your future hoping that whoever they put behind the resolute desk is going to make your life better you are in for the greatest fall of them all i'm going to tell you right now because it's not going to change all right look i'm gonna get going here this guy here loves you a lot from the heart i mean that i want to hear from you on this and um man i'm sorry <laughs> i'll see you later 4 or 5 p.m eastern for the live stream right i'm out of here